Alright, what's going on YouTube? Big Tito 111 coming at you with a quick video. Um this this video is gonna be about the motor I just picked up, that 2028 castle. I just wanted to show you all something that, that I found out when I was on each website. Cause um when I had the decision to make you know to get the motor, I was either thinking I, I knew I was gonna go 2028, but I, I didn't know if I was gonna go castle or if I was gonna go um with the Poseidon motor, but let me just show you guys what uh, was the deciding factor here. All right, so this is the motor I got, the 2028. Let me click on it here. Just want to show you guys some information that I noticed. All right, so when it's telling you about the motor and everything, as you look in the middle of your screen here, you'll know it says uh, revised stator and magnets shape provide lower cogging torque. Um, for improves uh, what starting performance, but that's not what I wanted to get into. These these next three factors is is what made made me get this one. Um, basically, right here it says the new 800 kV rating will make the setup faster. You can see it says rated at a higher RPM at 45,000 due to improved manufacturing process and um, capable of running 12s lipo. So you got eight uh, 800 kV. 45,000 RPM max and it's capable of running 12S. All right, so now let me go to Poseidon Motors, their website, and let's check out their motor. Let me scroll down. Got your boat motors. All right, we'll get there eventually. All right, so now here's the car motors. Um, that's the 2028 400kV, 2028 600kV, and the 2028 800kV. Now let's go to where their stats is, okay? Now if you look over here to the right, come all the way, it's the, it's the last one before the, for the end, before the, uh, on the right hand side, last one before for the end. It's the 2028 800kV. That's what we're looking at. So my castle is a 2028 800 kV. So both of those are the same here. But if you look down on that column at the 800 kV and you go down to the you go down to the RPM max and you'll notice that it's only a 30,000 RPM max that it has. And then if you go down even further, you would see for the voltage, it only handles 8S. So for the Poseidon 800 kV rating, you're getting a 30,000 RPM uh, 8S, 8S setup, basically. Now, in order to match pretty much almost all the stats from the castle, you will actually, if you look to the left of the 800 kV, you'll see the 600 kV. And if you go down to the RPM, you'll see, notice that it's 30,000, all the Poseidon for that range for the 2028 or 30,000 RPM. Um, and if you go down, you'll see 50 volts, 12 S. So it's showing you that the um, 600 KV is capable of 12 S, but you still lose in RPM. You, you only have 30,000 and you also lose in KV because instead of an 800 KV motor, now it's down to a 600 KV motor. Uh, so. Like I said, I love both motors. I, I own both. I mean, I don't have a 2028 Poseidon, but I have a 2200 and a 2650. And, you know, the excellent motors, even my castle motors have been excellent. So I, I love both brands. But like I say, um, when you look at the 800 kV for the castle, like I said, you're getting 12 um, capable of 12 S and you're getting 45,000 RPM at the 800 kV rating. Whereas the Poseidon, as you can see right here on the website, it says 30,000 and you only can run 8S through their 800 kV. So that was pretty much my uh, reasoning behind getting this beast right here. And I, I would have to say I'm very, very happy with my purchase. And like I said, I just wanted to let you guys know that, like, you know, that I came across that. And that was part of my decision, you know, to get this motor. But I uh, appreciate you guys watching as always. And I'll... Uh, Catch y'all in the next one. Got got some uh, videos coming up with this monster, this beast.